Hey YouTube, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, before I start this video, uh, I just want to mention that I've just started a Facebook page under H20 Fowler 2012. I'll put the link below in the description box. I'll probably leave it in the description box for future videos. It's in the infancy stages, but uh, just kind of getting it together and fumbling around a little bit. I know a lot of you guys don't like Facebook, you aren't on Facebook, but I just wanted to throw it out there. If you want to come over and like the page, maybe we can get into some other discussions there instead of just in, uh, doing it on YouTube. And uh, probably going to post some thoughts of the day on there and, uh, you know, just have some discussions on Facebook. So the link will be below. If you want to check it out, like the page, I'd appreciate it. And just be a little forgiving of the content in there right now because um, it is uh, just in the beginning stages. Okay, got that out of the way. Uh, I want to show my failures here. Uh, I'm not a channel that uh, just shows all my successes with prepping and I'm so great and I'm an expert. I'm certainly not and I'm learning as I go. And this isn't for, uh, certainly my first time doing long-term food storage in Mylar bags, but the last round that I did, um, it was in late May and I haven't uh, uh, fix the problem yet which I'm doing today just to have some time you can see this bag here is rock hard and obviously this is what we're looking for right this you can actually see the uh, grains of rice throughout the mylar bag sealed properly oxygen absorbers this is great and use the same exact process for this bag as I did with this bag which is full of puffy air and did not obviously get enough air out of it so, my solution I want to show you right now, instead of opening this up, throwing this bag away, or dumping more rice out because I need more room to seal it, and instead of going through all that, I'm going to show you my quick solution to this problem, and also I want to talk about a product out there, and I'm wondering if any of you have used it. Okay, so stick around. Thanks. Alright, so I'm going to use a food saver to solve my problem here. So I'm going to make my own bag. So the first thing I got to do is just put a seal on it. And I do two seals on the bag just to have two. Uh, I think it's a little better. So I just move it up, move it down just a little bit more, put another seal on it. <clears throat> And actually this roll here is almost done, so this bag is going to be a little bigger than uh, a bag that I would normally make, but so I'm really just at the end here. I don't really have, well, yeah, see I'm at the end. So what I'm going to do, I'll just take this bag apart here. So I've seen some, uh, some videos on how to seal Mylar bags on a food saver. So now I have the bottom of my bag here, and this bag obviously is a little bit longer. Um, I'm just going to take this puffy bag here, and what I'm going to do is just cut a hole in it. The old trusty spider co. Okay. So now when I put this in the food saver bag, this will have air to suck out. Maybe I can adjust the length of this bag, we'll see. Get this in there. Now, I realize that the oxygen absorbers that are in this bag already probably are shot. That's kind of okay with me. Yeah, this is definitely a little too long. I'm just going to cut a little bit off of this. Now, a little bit of rice may come out of this. And that's fine. I mean, this bag is just a little, little too big here. Okay. Get this out of there. So now I'm going to put it in the food saver. And I'm just going to beat this down to try to make it flat here. I still have uh, probably a little too much of the bag here, but that's all right. Just want to make sure I get enough here in the vacuum channel. along here to keep 
try to get some air out. And I try to make these as flat as possible because I want to put them in five gallon buckets. As you can see right away, taking all the air out, I can start to see the grains of the rice. I'm just going to wait for it to seal. Again, guys, this bag's a little bit larger uh, than my, I would normally make it. But now, that failure now has sucked all the air out. And again, there are two, I actually even put, I start putting two oxygen uh, absorbers in. Uh, I believe there are 30 cc oxygen absorbers. If they're not, I will note it uh, uh, with a caption. Um, but I believe there are 30 cc for the one gallon bags of Mylar. But anyway, uh, I, I started putting two in because uh, when I first had failures, like Ben, it's got to be the oxygen absorbers. So, and then the way I'm uh, the way I'm sealing these guys is, you know, I'm using a hair straightener uh, to seal these. And I feel like there's a great seal on them uh, on every bag that I do, and I triple seal them. And so I don't know where my failure is here. Now, if you're still watching this video. I know that this is a pretty expensive way of doing it because not only you're using a Mylar bag, you're using Food Saver bags as well. Uh, but I see, I saw that Healthy Prepper did this for like pasta and stuff, um, and I think it's a great idea. But I did searching around on the internet found these bags that are actually channeled Mylar bags, and I'm wondering if anybody's used them. I tried to look them up on YouTube, and I think they're called. Uh, I'll notate it in the video right now. Something vac foil or something. And they basically, uh, you know, for the food saver, you have to have these ridges for it to seal, right? Uh, these air pockets. Well, they actually have Mylar bags now with these air pockets built in, so you can just use your food saver to seal your Mylar. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of those bags in here right now so you can see them. Okay, so those are the. That's a picture of the bags. There is a note on the uh, website uh, where you order those bags from that cheaper food savers or cheaper vacuum sealers. Uh, you may have to do it twice, and they noted that they have a Cabela's model and it works great. So I don't know if this is a cheap food saver, the Game Saver Deluxe. I, I I don't know. I think it's a decent food saver, but. Um, I'm, I'm considering, I think it's like 30 bucks or 29.50 or something for 50 bags. You know, it's kind of expensive for Mylar, but it kind of makes life simple. So I just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Uh, and I appreciate you watching the video. I think this is my quick solution to this, at least this batch of long-term food storage that has given me some problems out of the probably six bags that I did. Uh, or no, I did more than that. I did pancake mix as well that turned out okay I had three bags out of like eight that that just were that didn't work so I just uh, bagged them up and used the food saver to do it so I'll also put a link to healthy preppers video um, and I think maybe in the future what I'll do is fill the mylar bag up and put the oxygen absorbers in and seal it and leave just a pocket at the top here where uh, the air can get sucked out and then it will seal the mylar. Uh, well, the mylar will be sealed all the way except for a little air pocket channel. And I'm going to put it in food saver bags and just store it with double protection. I don't know. It just seems like I don't want to redo this stuff after I do it and find out the next day after waiting 24 hours that the oxygen absorbers aren't working or I'm not sealing something properly. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, guys. Um, but, uh, you know, I've had a lot of success with uh, long-term food storage when I, when I was doing it recently, and nothing's changed. So this last round in May, uh, the end of May, I think it was after Memorial Day weekend or something that I did this, and I, I don't know. And I was sober when I did it. All right, guys, as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks. Mm -hmm.